Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. Have some very good news for, I'm pretty sure, many, many, many people out there. Coinbase has announced that they are going to be adding 30 new assets to their cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, so it says four hours after announcing the list, Coinbase Pro said that it was launching support for Civic, District 0x, Loom Network, and Decentraland's tokens. Its order books will remain in transfer-only mode for 48 hours with customers able to deposit but not withdraw any of the tokens. After adding support for several new tokens over the past months, Coinbase has revealed more than 30 crypto assets it is considering for listing. However, the San Francisco-based exchange is not adding the 31 tokens to its platform just yet, but rather is continuing to explore the addition of the assets According to a blog post published on Friday, the tokens include in the range from ERC-20 tokens to independent projects. For those who were here a couple of, it has to be months ago at this point, <clears throat> time flies. Coinbase announced that they were going to be adding, uh, what's it called? Coins on their platform that they would allow as uh, like custody of. So you could leave your coins with them and they would be the custodians of them. They would have them on their platform, but you would not be able to buy, sell, or trade these. They would simply be there for them to hold. And I said, I thought it was really weird that they decided to uh, list a bunch of coins at the exact same time that they weren't going to be adding. But I had a strong inkling that the coins that they were thinking of having for their uh, custody thing just happened to be coins that a lot of people were asking for for a long time and i had a feeling as well that they were things that they were trying to go over or discuss with regulators and i also said that coinbase would eventually add new coins but they would do it in a batch as to not uh be what's the word um so that people wouldn't say that there was some type of insider trading uh but also uh that certain coins would only be allowed in certain jurisdictions over time, they said, we intend to offer our customers access to greater than 90% of all compliant digital assets by market cap. There are some caveats. However, the post explained that the process to add new tokens requires significant exploratory work on both technical and legal compliance aspects. And the firm cannot guarantee that all the name tokens will be actually added. Uh, so what's happening right now is, and I'm pretty sure you see exactly where this is going, Coinbase announced before that they were not going to add other cryptocurrencies at the end of 2017 and the beginning of 2018 because these coins were not compliant within the United States. And then we had news that Coinbase was opening up an office in Japan and that Coinbase was opening up an office in the United Kingdom. I'm not sure if there's actually one in mainland Europe. The point is, I said, wouldn't it be really weird, or rather I assumed, that they were going to simply add the other tokens that they could not add in the United States but on the other platform? And this seems to be exactly <laughs> what is going on. The post says, and I do quote, it said, further, fo further for, furthermore, <laughs> Our listing process may result in some of these assets being listed solely for customers to buy and sell without the ability to send or receive using a local wallet. Finally, as per our listing process, we will add new assets on a jurisdiction by jurisdiction basis, which allows us to add assets efficiently and responsibly. This pretty much goes in exactly what I said. I mean, I understand we've been talking for a while about all the stuff that's been happening in the United States with the SEC, with the CFTC, and who cannot do what and what cannot happen. I, I can only imagine when you actually watch the people from Coinbase on a television show or CNBC in particular, and they're talking about what they have planned for the future of cryptocurrencies or what they have planned for the future of their platform. Uh, the CEO gets very upset sometimes because he uh, constantly says that they want to add as many crypto tokens or coins on their platform as possible, but they simply cannot inside of the United States. And this is why I firmly believe that they have gone ahead to start opening up spaces or offices in other places because they desperately want to add all these other coins. Because if you have not noticed, Binance has taken the charge and they pretty much add whatever they want. And if a jurisdiction or country tells them that they cannot list their stuff in that place, they simply uh, tell the people in that country, yeah, we can't help you anymore. And their business continues to go on. And this is exactly what Coinbase is trying to do. Here is the actual blog post. They said, we are uh, continuing to explore the addition of new assets and we'll be working with local banks 
and regulators to add them in as many jurisdictions as possible. For those who are not looking at the screen, I get a lot of messages of people telling me that they don't actually, or rather they use my videos on the side as they're doing other things. Hello, if you're listening out there, if you're on the other side of the room, if you're cutting some chicken in the kitchen, I don't know why I said that. Uh, these are the coins that they are going to list on, or rather they say that they could potentially list in the future on their platform, but they're not giving any specificity as to when, and they're not saying uh, a solid yes to all of these. Uh, as I read through them, I'm pretty sure in my head, my opinion, my, my life, I'm pretty sure that they're going to add at least 95% of these coins. Um, and yeah, uh, the coins are Cardano, definite. Um, Eternity, I'm pretty sure that's also going to happen. Aragon, Bread Wallet, because why not? Civic, uh, keeping in mind that a lot of these are ERC20 tokens. And uh, this is why they are adding a lot of ERC20 tokens to their platform because they're easier to integrate because Ethereum is already integrated onto their platform. Little side note, um, DAI, Civic, that's DAI as D-A-I, not, um, anyway, uh, District 0X, Engine Coin, EOS, which I knew was going to happen. I was just waiting for some type of confirmation. Golem Network, I-O-S-T, KIN, and I'm fairly certain when, okay, uh, sorry for uh, breaking, but a little side note, when, or rather big if in seven foot tall letters, Ken gets added to their platform, there's going to be a massive spike in price. I, talk, I, sp I spoke about Ken in one of my other videos. Please pay attention to the project. It is incredibly cheap right now. Uh, Kyber Network, Chain Link, Loom Network, Loop Ring, Decentraland, Mainframe, Maker, Neo, Omizego, which I'm also really excited about, Poet, Quark Chain, Augur, Request Network, Status, Storage, XLM, and yeah, of course, XRP, Tezos, and Zilliqa. Uh, these are, if I'm not mistaken, some of the almost exact same coins that they were talking about for their custody platform. Not surprised uh, by any of these coins here. I am, however, excited for Cardano, obviously. EOS, Golem, especially. I, I think the Golem platform is going to be incredibly large. A lot of people aren't paying attention to what Golem is. Uh, Ken is going to be massive. When you have a coin like Ken, potentially or one day being added to the uh, Coinbase platform, that's going to be massive. Decentraland, I think, is also going to be very huge. Neo, Omizigo, I can't wait for Omizigo to completely go mainstream. Algor is going to be very big. Stellar Lumens is uh, all, well, Stellar Lumens and Cardano already the coins that they were talking about listing before. These are definitely, uh, in my opinion, these are all but definites at this point. Um, Tezos and Zilliqa, a lot of people are obsessed with these. Uh, remember I said months ago, they were definitely going to add XRP and when they did so, they would make sure that they had it listed with thousands, not maybe not thousands, but tons of other coins because they don't want to be accused of anything. And we haven't seen this before where they did like a, a, a batch listing. I can almost, mm, I don't want to say, I, I don't assure you. In my head, I think they're going to start doing batch listings. If you read the article at the very beginning, it says after they announced this, uh, Coinbase Pro said it is launching support for Civic, District X, Loom Network, and Decentraland. That's four coins at once. I think they're trying to desperately get away from the one coin thing. I think the one coin thing, this is maybe why they told us five coins before, because they were trying to space them out until they got regulatory approval to be able to add all these other things. I'm almost certain at this point, XRP is probably not going to have any uh, head nod or anything from the SEC or maybe any of these other coins as well anytime soon, simply because the SEC has taken their um, sweet dear time on many other things. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I do, however, expect um, XRP to be listed in the UK and in uh, blah, 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 and Japan as well. And that's not even considering if Coinbase is already on their way to opening up some other type of offices in and many other places around the world. Um, I guess that is definitely going to do it for this video. Not really much more to say on that topic. I'm incredibly excited for this, not even just for XRP. There are many other coins up here that I think needed to be listed. 
uh, or rather, I hoped or wished that they would be listed. I think they're very, very cool projects. Even District Zero X is another major project a lot of people just aren't paying attention to. I think the future is very bright. I don't think them uh, talking about the addition of coins onto their platform at this time right now was an accident. I think everyone, or rather people who are uh, cryptocurrency exchanges and other uh, market makers, if you kind of want to call them that, um, everyone's expecting some type of a bull run to happen eventually. And I think that they are leaving digital breadcrumbs, if you kind of want to say that, to kind of, I don't know, push the market forward. I can't really think of exactly what I'm trying to say. A little euphoric at the moment. Uh, nice to have a little bit of vindication. It'll be even better when these coins actually get listed on their platform. I hope you all enjoyed. And I really mean that. I hope you all have a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I hope it's absolutely phantasmagorical if that's a word. Thank you once again, all of you for watching and or listening. I do appreciate all of your support. And yeah, uh, good times ahead. And I'll talk to you all soon. See you.